<laughs> so, so, so how you doing, buddy? Pretty good. Selling like <laughs> Woo! On yeah. top of the world, baby. I, I'm here with fucking Jeremy Captain Lightning over here. Yeah, let's go, baby. Fucking Captain Tampa, the only goddamn Tampa fan in the fucking building. And he just so happened to sit next to me the whole night. Yeah, and all go. I fucking hear is, let's go! Let's go! Champions. Which is shocking considering I heard all that and it wasn't fucking me saying it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. After a long, long, longer than we wanted it to ever be season of hockey, the Stanley Cup has been claimed by the Tampa Bay Lightning. Deserved it. It was a year too late. <laughs> One year later than they thought they were gonna win it. But you know what, I think this was the only outcome that redeems them from last year's oh, embarrassment. Oh, 100%. This, this was is the, the only outcome. Meaning, going to the cup final and losing would not be enough. They needed to defeat all the demons. Um, and and honestly, the, I believe they did that. Yep. They beat, they got revenge on last year by beating um, the Blue Jackets in five. They showed that they were a, they could go up against a very tough, gritty team like the Boston Bruins, who they defeated mm -hmm. in five. In five, yeah. And they proved that they could beat a team with, in my opinion, a superior coach in Barry Trotz and the yeah, New York Islanders. Islanders. And so going into the finals, like, there was only one more step to take, and they had to win the cup. So here we are. Yeah, here we are. What a surprising game. Like, I don't know. Like, I didn't, I didn't know how to gauge this game, like, watching it at the bar. Um, I will say, um, anybody who watches hockey at the bar, it sucks sometimes. Let me tell you. Like, they had the volume for uh, foot, football on. And I was so upset about that. I was like, why is the audio for football? Like Who fun. cares? It's game six in a possible cup clinching game. I don't care. Oh, just go, go ask him. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. But like, anyway, but like, anyway, no. But like, honestly, this game felt so weird. Like, there were times where I thought, wow, Dallas is not even trying. Yeah, I was really expecting, especially with, they started out with terrible last, with last game with them. Like that last goal was just them grinding and grinding and grinding and grinding until it went in. I expected them to come out this game thinking it's do or die, and they started off flat. I I will say though, do you think? And this is honestly what I think. So when Sergachev scored last, and I and I made a joke about this too. I believe Sergachev thought he got the Stanley Cup winning goal. Yes. And I think it got to Tampa's head real fast. They looked at the time, they're like, third period goal. Yeah, they weren't taking it's any It's gotta chances. be it! No. They weren't taking any chances today. Uh, yeah, one Points. thing I will say is that we both predicted Tampa to win in six. I said it first. Oh, but we both said it at the same time. That's a little crap. Sure we did. Oh, yes. Uh, no, but yes, I watched this game, and I sat beside a amazing Tampa fan. Um, who, What's his name, Jeremy? Jeremy, who is probably at the beginning of this video, if we mashed up the videos correctly, yeah, and it didn't cost us our entire save file. Yeah. Well, um, if not, Jeremy, fun. I'm sorry. You'll be in some of them in the future. Um, but your name shall be. <laughs> your name, Jeremy, Jeremy, with an I E. It's going in the Nolan Hockey Podcast. Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame. We'll, we'll write your name here. Right. We'll just tape, tape, Jeremy. Jeremy's, Jeremy's anyway, that Jeremy's is way top. off topic. Of um, so, honestly, if you just look at this Tampa team, there's so much talent on that team that it just had to happen sooner or yeah. later. And that's why I was saying, like, I was, when I was talking to my dad when we were watching the game, mm -hmm. I was saying, like, with the, like, the, the defensive hockey that they had to play against Dallas in those last few minutes. Like yeah. there was there was one there was one clip where there's three guys yeah! jumping Holy in front hell. of a shot. Like it was you know it was amazing. It's like it was almost like the Queen of England and three soldiers are trying to dodge this bullet. Uh, no, no, take, take, take the, the bullet. bullet, sorry. Take Not the dodge bullet. the bullet. Yeah, dodge the bullet. The queen's dead. Um <laughs> 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 
three of them are trying to take my queen. take this puck, and I'm like, and I was thinking like, D Dallas isn't getting anything because, like, Tampa has a yeah. awesome defensive core, and they are stopping that puck before it gets to Vasilevsky, and if they don't, your goaltender in net is Vasilevsky. Mm -hmm. He was gonna make that save. Like, th like th I was saying, like, if Dallas wants to score, they have to crash the net with three or four guys. They are going to, it's going to be, if they're going to tie this game, it's going to be scrappy, scrappy goals. There's going to be no, no big tap-ins. There's going to be, it's going to be a rebound. It's going to be a scrum. It's going to be a questionable goal in goalie interference, which makes us think about Corey Perry and... It looks soft. It, it was... Off. It looks soft. Yes. Okay. Okay. For the, for the record, everybody like, uh, who thinks it, who thinks it was an easy penalty, try to think. Just try to pretend it isn't Corey Perry taking the penalty. Now well, it's I more mean, plausible that it's a like, little I soft. I was saying, like you know, he is it a him. penalty? Yes, he backed into him. However, Vasilevsky, he, he sold it. I've fallen and I can't get up. And, and I was and I was saying like. Worst case scenario, like I was thinking, to be honest, what I wouldn't have done is I wouldn't have called a goalie interference. Uh, how it, in call this, a goalie don't do that? What does that uh, mean? No, but I mean I wouldn't have called it as a goalie interference penalty. However, if they would have scored, I would have called it off for goalie interference. Okay, okay. So that's what I'm saying is I wouldn't have given the two minutes. So but if there have, was a goal from that, have, then I you, then, yeah. So you wouldn't have blown the whistle unless the play. In, yeah, I wouldn't have blown the whistle. Goal. I wouldn't have yeah, done the two minutes. I just I just reversed the goal if there was a goal that came off that. Mm -hmm. So I um, just I didn't I, I thought Vasilevsky. Yeah. So he he sold it. <laughs> no there's questions. A, there's a couple additions in the lineup. Uh, uh, Ruda and Verhage I believe were out of yeah. the lineup. Uh, Verhage after taking a bad penalty in the game before. Uh, uh, I did not see Ruda. That, that was the slashing penalty where it broke his stick. You um, say this like I saw the game. I right, right. Oh, right. <laughs> God damn. Uh, and Jan Ruda was, was in the lineup for, for a bit. <laughs> We're oh. going home! Oh, oh, no, no, okay. <laughs> We're going home! Yeah, yeah. If you, haven't, no, seen it, if you but, haven't seen that, I got some good comedic moments in that, so go give that a watch. Gee, thanks for the mid-vid freaking advertisement for oh, yeah. me there. Nice and subtle. Yeah. <laughs> Don't watch this one. Watch the <laughs> other one. Yeah, d don't watch the one it's with like the trophy, this one, but less the cup cups. champ, the banner. Yeah, the banner I fished out of somewhere. Anywho, mm -hmm. anywho, um, no, but Ruda's out of line as well, and so in their place is Volkov, who makes his playoff debut for uh, debut for Tampa, um, and you get your name on the cup. Zach Bogosian. Well, he was gonna be get his name on the cup. Everyone gets their name on the cup if they're on the roster. Oh, okay. That's why like Madison Bowie got his name on the cup when Washington won it, even though he didn't play a game. That's like why Darren Helm got the, the um, his name in the cup. Yeah, and I heard Trent people was. asking about like what what's gonna happen in terms of is Stamkos gonna come out wearing his normal stuff? And no, no, no. I was like, I was Give like, him no, skates. He, he's gonna get yeah, w yeah. Worst case, like, he wants to imagine, walk around he's gonna, with the cup. When like you're, you're telling me, the guy they're giving the cup is gonna be then just walk around in mm -hmm. shoes, slip and fall, and drop the cup. <laughs> just kind of, I've always been waiting for that to happen to see a cup. To see somebody get it, and like I don't remember if somebody dropped. I'm, I've seen. Was it Malkin who came close to dropping it? Might have been. Might have been. I think I think Malkin got close. I think he stumbled and he get, and it got like about within a foot. No, of No, he just gave it a good old fist pump. Like, ooh, yeah. A little no. fist pump. But like, yeah. Anyway, down. um, so like, let's talk about the game first. Just um, one thing. The, I, one thing I will say, not about either team. Wes McCauley, I love you, man, but you can't blow the play dead at that time. You remember when he blew the play dead uh, on Tampa penalty? Dallas had the puck. It was... Is this the tripping penalty from Ryan McDonough in the third yes, grade? Yes, it was. Ryan, uh, Ryan McDonough had the puck. I was pretty sure Dallas had the puck in their own zone. No. No. Well, no. no I said... Uh, that's what no. I was saying. And Ryan McDonough took a tripping penalty. I have it written here. McDonough penalty at 4.32, right? Because yeah, Dallas yeah, has a huge know, chance where saying, Vasilevsky saves it with his... Me, uh, me and Dad were both saying that, and the announcers were saying that, so... Really? Yeah, they were. Okay, well, keep in mind, my, my the game I watched didn't have any audio. That's true. However, That's true. That's I will true. say, this is what I saw. I saw a play, uh, tri saying a trip by uh, McDonough, 
Okay, because like total trip, easy. Um, and then either somebody have a rebound chance at it. it might have been either Ben or Radulov had a rebound at it, and Vasilevsky saved it with his skate blade, and then it went out to McDonough, yeah. and McDonough had it, and they blew it. That that's what I saw. Yeah. Who got that second goal again? So I I'm just gonna go through both. Well, let's actually. go through the first one. Right so here. actually, and also yeah, Bogosian is back in the lineup. What a what a glory say. The Norse Trophy. The Norse <laughs> Trophy you wouldn't know. Yeah. Um, anyway, um, stop. But enough of that. So, uh, a good theme going into this game that was really point out and really paid dividends here was Dallas cannot take penalties against Tampa. Tampa can't either against Tampa, Dallas. But if Dallas takes Tampa penalties, will they're capitalize in trouble. every single time. So the first time, well, I'm about the, to prove you wrong. The vast, <laughs> the vast majority of times. Ta- so, so they got what two power play goals a few games ago, or they got games? three power play goals. Two three power. So, Cogliano takes a tripping penalty at thirteen twenty-two. They kill it. How and they only had their second unit out there the whole time. It looked like I didn't see point out once. Then, which leads, and I said that at the bar, which leads to the second penalty. John Klingberg tricks, uh, trips Volkov. So Volkov had an impact on this game, which leads to point <laughs> yeah, shooting it. Now points go a penalty. <laughs> do you know that actually is important? Oh, yeah, true. That's true. Did you, did you see what happened on points goal? Um, he shot enough. it off the throat right around the turn. So, this is this the first one? Yes. So, for the record. I remember. I remember the second one. The there. first shot that hits Antoine Udobin, and he goes like this. Why he does that is because, like Robin Leonard, who took a shot, he doesn't have a throat guard. A dangler is what we call it. A dangler will stop, will hit, it'll hit, puck will spill, hit it, go. If you don't have it, it hits the throat possibly. I think it hit Hudobin either really high or in the throat just in general, and it stunned him. And Braden Point took that, and he's like, okay, open net time. Bang. one nothing Tampa Bay on the power play. And then that would pretty much be it for the rest of the period, although Hedman would take a game one and goal right there. Perry. Yeah, that would be it. That, yeah. Now, was, was in, the sec- like... late, in, about, well, in the second period, yep. um, uh, Patrick Maroon to Blake Coleman. That was a nice. Game. From the who a former New Jersey Devil. And I was saying like that to pass, make it two nothing in order Tampa. To, to score to score on that shot, that pass has to be perfect. Mm-hmm. Can't have it an inch forward, inch I behind, think, and he's I think not. It hit. was Maroon. I'm not. It sure. was Maroon. Was it Maroon? Okay. Or I don't know. Maroon, Maroon was, was on the ice. Maroon had a Maroon had a play that I didn't like. He had a two on one, and he took a slap shot. It's a Hubdobin's chest, like right in his gut. You know who he was on two on one with? Who? Yeah. Volkov. <sighs> but I was saying, like, why? Like, it, at the very least, go for the pads, look for a possible Paquette. rebound for. Coleman scored from Paquette and Maroon. Yeah, that was a nice and shot right above the pad. Yeah. Hubdobin's not getting that. Yeah, and bo- and those two of the, that three players involved in the second goal. Which wasn't the game winner, yeah. but still, it was really the exclamation mark here. Um, were both picked up by the Tampa Bay Lightning either in the off season or this year coming up, so that was huge for them. And honestly, like, and that'll do it. Like, um, we yeah. talked about the Dallas, the really good Dallas chance, and Carter touched on it again at the end of the game. I was saying, I was like, Dallas isn't going to score; they're not going to win. They'll maybe get lucky if one goal bounces around yeah, and makes I the was... net, but the. The way Tampa's playing, Tampa's playing, Tampa is not in their own head. They know what they need to do right now. Yeah, they are not, standing they're in not there, making the same mistake they made yesterday. It, it, and sh- it's funny, like, I was watching that, and I was like, this reminds me a lot of earlier this year when David Ayers went in net for Carolina. Yeah. And the Carolina Hurricanes were jumping in front of every shot. Nothing was getting to the net. Yes. It, it was some of the best defense of hockey that you will see. And for anybody wondering on, like, uh, trying to understand where this is coming from, other than the fact that they're motivated to win the Stanley Cup, think of it this way. Think about when you were in gym class and the day is floor hockey day. You're like, okay. But here's the problem. How often is there actually a good goalie for floor hockey? There's Come usually on, one. And he usually isn't on your team because you're usually pretty and, and good. And sometimes he doesn't want so to play that that. Means, <laughs> So that means you have to, you have, to have Dave. Dave isn't good at being a goalie, but Dave has a can-do attitude, 
and you're okay with that. You know okay. that Dave can only stop about 25% of the shots he faces. So we need to make sure Dave doesn't have to do anything. You will play the defensive game of your life, the two-way game. You will run as hard back. Why? Because you do not trust Dave to make a save. That is the motivation that the Tampa Lightning were having. They were not going to leave fate in anyone's hands, even though they did trust Andre Vasilevsky. They were going to make sure that they stopped him. They were going to make sure that they made sure that no one scored. And that's what they did. Yep. And so, let's talk about the cons why Tampa is why Tampa has the pieces here to win the cup. Let's talk about some of their players. The offense, the defense, the goaltending, they have it all. Coaching they, not bad. And, and the coaching, well, yeah, I remember your name tree ripped apart Don well, I, I, ripped her, I ripped apart John Cooper a bit, yeah, too. Yeah, well, you know. But you know what? Like, John Cooper is a solid coach. He's solid. just not... I don't think he's an amazing coach. I think... I think he's mid -tier. I think Rick Rick Bonus and Barry Trotz are better coaches because I think... But I think Barry John Trotz Cooper be, for the guy... I would... I would Honestly, I wouldn't... Go, I would, I, I'd say he's the best coach in the league. Bruce Cassidy is actually a solid coach. Hmm. Yeah. Where's he coaching? Uh, Boston. Um, but no, I will say this though. John Cooper got what he needed to from his guys, and that's what yep. any all coaches can, like any coach can ask for, honestly. Yep. Like no, like just because a team overperforms, like like not every team is going to overperform. When there's the Tampa Bay Lightning, there's an expectation for you to perform in general, especially they after last year. Finally, didn't choke. <laughs> no, that's that's right. Yeah, finally. Finally. It took, it took him a few. Years. Sixteen years. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's cute. Oh yeah. Yeah, when was the last time we won anything? Never. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never. Last time any Canadian team won was in 93. Yeah. But yeah, like, let's, like, let's just talk about some of the guys that they got. Because honestly, if you look at this team... So let's, st let's start with the forwards. Yeah, 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 for sure. I'm just going to touch on a couple names. Not every name is going to be brought up, because honestly, some of them are just, just... Just talk... Like, if we don't mention them, just chalk them up to good wood chipper guys, honestly. Wood chip prospect. Yeah. Um... They were paying a lot of, of a lot for these players, including first rounds and everything. They were doing this because they knew that this was the year. Like yep. after this year, like Sorelli's an RFA, which is tough, especially since you just paid point. Like there's a couple things that are gonna be moved around next year. And now that you've won the cup, yes, you wanna go back to back, but you know what? Teams sit back. They sit back when you win the cup. You, and you know what? Right. Everyone, you you deserve to sit back because you've won the cup. Well, like, um, um, like I said, unless your name is Pittsburgh. Unless your name is Pittsburgh, in which case you are a vampire, you will surely die if you do not get another one. But anyway, that's that's a waste of time that the second episode of the Nolan podcast talks yeah. about. So. Anyway, um, so the first guy, of course, Steven Stankos. He didn't show up a lot. But you, you know, know what? Him being you had there. Him, you had him for under three minutes, and he got the one goal. And the main thing was not that he scored the goal, but the morale boost that their team got when he was able to play even just that one period of yeah. hockey. Yeah. That that made all the difference for them. They were winning it for him, honestly. Oh, totally. Like, every year we talk about a guy who they're, who they're winning it for. And... Like, it's not always the case. Like, there's not always, like, you're going to win it for him or him or him. Like, yeah. Pat Maroon was kind of the guy last year. But the year before that, it was, you want to win the cup for Ovi. Oh, you win the cup for Ovi. The year before, it was pretty much just, uh, year four, I don't know. But the year before that, it was it was Kessel. You want to win the cup for Kessel. There, there's always these guys we talk about, like, you want to win the cup for Ray Bork. You want to win the cup for Vladimir Konstantinov. Yeah, I was about to say Konstantinov. You, you want to win the Konstantinov cup. Konstantinov is probably the... Probably the biggest. Yeah, you want to win the cup for Timu. Yeah. You want to win the cup for like so many guys, and and it doesn't always happen. But you want to win it Poor for someone Christ. else. <laughs> you want to tell yourself that you were on the. T you want to tell people that you were on the team that won the cup for Steven Stamkos. Yep. Like, twelve years, man. Like, oh, I got it. Who, yeah, exactly. Like, this this Tampa Stanley Cup will feel, I think, in my personal opinion, better than the first cup they did in '04. Yeah, their their 0-4 cup run is special, but honestly, 
And the thing is, uh, is you that look at that 0-4 team and you look at and look at the team they have now. That 0-4 team didn't have any demons. They didn't have a lot of adversity, honestly. Like that 0-4 team was they were solid the whole way down. They weren't amazing, but they were solid. Yeah. They didn't have the, the huge feel good story other than it was their first cup. Yeah. There's a lot of people that, that hold a lot of contention about how that went down. And I said this. The two teams in the Stanley Cup final, both of them had asterisks next to their yeah. wins. Now, when One, they won the Cup, they won it 04 or 05? Um, 04. 05, 05, was, 05 a was a lockout. Because yes. I was about to say, it was before, I think it was the last the year, year before, before the lockout. Yeah. yeah so. Yes. That's why our game, our 06 game, has yeah. the animation Le of Le Cavalier, Le Cavalier even yeah, though it's the front cover. 06, <laughs> even though they won it in 04, yes. Yeah. Um, and um, what's it called? And the Dallas Stars, of course, the foot in the crease, and the Tampa Bay Lightning, who had the was the puck in the net in Game Six. Both of those guys are going to win, and ironically, they're both going to win. But also, they were both going to have asterisks and, in then anyway. Yeah, and the good thing about this game is that I'm like, there, there's no, there's no question. Like no, that. it's not was his foot in the crease? Did the puck cross? There's no question. This game was Tampa so won the cup. flat out. This game There's was easily no flat out. There was not a single question yeah. to be had. And and I like I kind of like I liked what Tampa has been doing in these past few years. You know, like they had they've always had that skill, but mm -hmm. you know they did some bulking up that they did. They, you know they picked up a guy like Maroon who he's a bug, he's a bug. He's gonna yeah. he's gonna cause turmoil. He's gonna shoot the puck in the other team. Yeah, bench. yeah. You know you get you get a guy like Bogosian who. Is he the greatest defenseman in the world? No. Well, some, would make, some would make you believe. And um, but he's gonna bring he's gonna bring up some strength and he's gonna bring a little bit of physicality. And you know what? Like that's like some teams some teams struggle with that. The Winnipeg Jets struggle with that yeah. ever since Bufflin's gone. It's been a bit well, of a, you know what I think. It's been a bit of a crapshoot. So. I would say it, it's simple like this. Did Tampa become a better team? No. They became a they became a playoff team. Yeah, okay. their 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 off season, they they didn't they didn't get better. Look at their record; they actually got worse. But they became more of a playoff team. They had a team that didn't have that had more mental toughness, and a team that was willing to go into those gritty areas. The guys they pick up. So there's a few. Kevin Shattenkirk from the New York Rangers, I believe, was picked up this year, right? Great pickup. That solid. So uh, the fact that Kevin Shattenkirk was available for them to pick up, who I believe they picked him up on waivers yeah, from the New York Rangers. Why? Scott McDonough and Shattenkirk. Well, no, no. Mc yeah, McDonough, no, was, McDonough was a trade. Yeah, It was know. a trade. And also they, JT they, they got rid of what? N N N Mastikov in that trade? Yes. That, they were, he was their first round pick that year. Anyway, let's, but let's talk about who they got this year, and then we'll move backwards if yeah. you want. Go for um, it. And we're just going to touch on it too much because we don't want the video to go too long because we've got to edit this a little bit and add some stuff in as well because there's... I, and I told and, we, and we only have so much memory to right. do so. So someday we'll get to the, the point the where thing we can is, do is that, videos, but um, it is what it is. The uh, what's it called? So Bogosian gets uh, uh, he wasn't claimed off waivers. His waivers cleared. His contract was terminated with Tampa, just like um, Giant Kirk was, and they signed new ones or out with Buffalo. Sorry, and they signed new ones with Tampa. I believe. I was about to say yeah. Yes. So those two were two defensive pickups. They got. Did they get Luke Shen this year? I cannot remember. I think they did. I think they did. I, I really do. I think they acquired Luke Shen via free agency, um, which is also a defensive pickup as well. Yep. They pick up Barkley Goodrow, and it's an overpayment, uh, but yeah. you know what? Doesn't matter now. You won the cup. Over what? Doesn't matter. Exactly. They paid him. They paid a, a for, they gave up a first round pick for a fourth liner. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter because you won the cup. Yeah, not a single thing you do matters if you win the cup. That that is that's what Patrick Waugh said when it, Patrick Waugh said it best. He's like, doesn't matter, man. Whatever you did to win the cup, whatever you did to win the cup, bang, you did, you worth, won. You it's worth it. Not anyone gonna take that away there from is, you. There no is no one no price you. you can put on the Stanley Cup. This isn't like this isn't like like in most main tour events. Like once you win. That, that can't be taken away. Your name is literally going to be etched on this thing. So, <laughs> like, like it, it's, and that's, it's amazing. You know what? This, this isn't exactly about the game, but this is one thing I would like to say. One thing I absolutely love about hockey, and specifically the Stanley Cup, is it's not like a lot of our pro sports where they make a new one every year. There's one cup. And you, well, yes, I mean, 100%. Well, there's 
three actually. But there's <laughs> yeah, there's the original one and then the one the hockey all. Oh, the tiny frick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, but the point is, yeah, every, you know, the names go on it, and it's there for at least, I think, 60 years or something, and then your band gets yeah. taken off. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, because they replace it once every 13 well, years. Well, did you see, so if you guys look at the photos of the cup while it's sitting there, you'll notice that the first three are really darker than the rest, and that's because there's more names written on it, so it engraves it, so it makes it all... Yeah. The bottom one is and the new one, one. And one thing uh, I did notice is that when they had... Uh, I can't remember his name, the keeper of the cup. When he's cleaning the cup, know his name. he's cleaning the uh, the old... The o, uh, the o 04 part of Tampa. Oh, did you, did you see that? that? Yeah. I, I did notice it, and I hated it immediately because I went back to my... I went back to... And I, went, I liked I went, it. I went, no, it. no! Screaming in Calgary Flames! Oh, for I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. It was in! I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't talk to me. Uh, no, but honestly, like, Poor you look Pepper. at this team, and, like, guys the big like, Blake Coleman, supremely underrated. Gonna be a UFA this year. Maybe take a look at him, Winnipeg, just, just a little bit. He's on the upswing. Um, and then, centerman. He's a center who can also play wing if he has to. I like uh, Pat Maroon. Yeah, we, we, yeah. Great. Winnipeg, Winnipeg has to have a lot we, of those. We need a center. <laughs> a center who can play with <laughs> Yes, but anyway, um, Pat Maroon as well, of course, pick up from St. Louis after, because yep. he signed a one-year deal with St. Louis, and then one year. Um, and then just guys that they have, they've acquired through trades. Mikha uh, Mikhail Sergachev in, in exchange with the Montreal Canadiens for Jonathan Duran. Solid. Because you know what? Like, Duran's a solid guy. Unique, but being able to trade for good defense that is consistent, that's hard to come by. Um, especially young defense that are that really make up that good space. Um, Jan Ruda even was uh, used to play for the Tampa uh, the Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, not the years they won the cup, just the years they sucked. Uh, <laughs> nice. Uh, Kita Kucherov, Braden Point, uh, they were drafted in the yeah. second and third round. Yeah. I didn't even realize that. I was like, one, wow. One guy who, who, he's not going to get a ring or anything like this, but you got to give him a lot of credit. Steve Eiserman built this team. Yes, he did. He built, he, well, he built the, the good team. He built the he bulk of it. The, he did, yes. All those draft picks that, all the guys that they drafted that are now in their organization and thriving, those were Steve's choice. Yeah. And I hope he makes mm. those choices with Detroit. Yes, anyway. Because we are in trouble. Yes. <laughs> okay. well, you can do yeah. the Fairfax Secretary. Oh, yeah. yeah. Relax, well, boy. Well, we, we, you know, it might be a good idea to go through each team. You know? uh, yeah, we can have the time for that. Can probably do that. You can cover the, the Detroit Red Wings. Oh, I will. I will. Okay. I will cover the Detroit okay. Red Wings. It's okay. a disaster Can't wait. that is our organization. Can't wait. Yeah. Um, yes, but also, Ryan McDonough has stayed before. Was, was in a trade with the New York Rangers. Um, he's solid pickup. I believe Kalorn was a draft pick. Um, Stamkos, of course, was a draft pick. Um, just like, oh, who's the other guy? Forwards. Oh, Victor Hedman, of course, draft pick. Totally deserved the cons, man. Yeah, he did. I, I actually I thought, called he, it. I thought it was going to be Braden Point. I totally forgot about Victor Hedman. I went, oh. Yeah, I, I, I went to that. Like, I was like, it's got to be my Hedman, bad. right? And he's like, yeah, it's got to be Hedman. So. <clears throat> yeah. No, this this team deserves the same. Yeah, it, well, and and Hedman, I, I like what he did. You know, every player does it every year. As soon as they get the con Smythe, they bring it over, take it. We're waiting for the big one. They even do that you in like, the video game. That's oh, how yeah. they're just like they're just like they're just like. <laughs> it, it, yeah, it, this, like, this is great. This is great. I, well, I don't care. Like, the he's like, yay. Okay, now I want this one. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah, it's great. Um, who else? I mean, names are escaping me. Ugh. I, you gotta feel bad for Joe Pavelski. Yeah. That was the guy that I was thinking about. I, 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 I felt bad for him because I'm like, he's and now before being, you he's feel been bad. in two cup finals and, you know. They both, he lost in six in both of them. They lost in six when they lost to Pittsburgh? Yep. Uh -huh. And it was actually the same way. They were up. I was, really, was, up I was really hoping San Jose to win that year. Yeah, everybody was. Yeah. Um, was that their second year Pittsburgh won? No, or it was their, the first year. No, it was the second first year was in Nashville. Nashville yeah. yeah. Two teams that honestly, I and you know what, this is gonna sting Dallas fans. But you know what, I think this was your shot. And like, here's why: look at the trajectory of your team 
in comparison to expectations. Scory Perry's only gonna get older. No, no, not even just that. Oh yeah, I know. But I just, but just compare it, we, because it's always important to compare things to the past, because sometimes life imitates it. This was the year, this was like how Nashville had that one breakout year. This was your breakout year. You hadn't made it this far since uh, 2000. Yeah, you were. Um, this, like this, just like how San Jose had finally had like good chance in the finals. Nashville had their one chance in the finals. St. Louis had their one chance in the finals and they won. Yeah. Even we're seeing Vegas, who probably will come back to finals at one point, but you know. Like, these were your chance, this was your chance, Dallas. Your team is going to be, I will say this, your team is going to be better in the regular season, might even be better in the regular season next year, if Kiviranta shows up just like he did in this playoffs and all that, but you know what, but you know what, it's going to be a lot tougher next year. Especially like being in the same division as Colorado, and Colorado's only going to get better. Yep. Colorado's going to get better. St. Louis might get a little worse, but we'll not, we'll see. Yeah, and Winnipeg's a big fat question mark. Yes, um, there's so much question marks. There's, it's a but you know what? Season. Like Dallas, I, I hope they can rebound from this because you know what? They've been a very interesting organization to watch. Yeah. But it's and gonna you know sting what? a while. One thing, and it's gonna sting. But be but happy you made it here. Be happy you made it here because nobody predict, predicted Dallas. I had you out in the first. I I, I did too. Everybody I, had you. I had Calgary making, winning that being series. the fourth seed and then losing. Yep. And like, think about this. I in thought, this I thought, year, I thought, I thought you've Calgary, won a cup before, yes, in '99. I, I thought Calgary would use their grit would get. But you did. You've nope. done just as well as Nashville, San Jose. You've done better than the Panthers, than the Jets, than the Knights. It's not harder than the Blue Jackets. <laughs> Panthers have made it to the finals before. Oh. Panthers have been better than the Jets. Let that humble you. Wait, wait, wait. Well, so as I was saying, yeah. Sorry about the, the our cut our out. audio cut out our because we don't out. have any storage. But I will just say this, and this is to just end it once again, because we needed to do a proper closing for this, and didn't just want to end yep. with me humbling Carter yep. about the Florida <laughs> Panthers. But Dallas, this off is gonna suck. Yep. But you know what? You should be proud that you made it this far. You made it farther than anyone thought you would. And your future does look bright in certain places. In certain places. In certain places. I am a little bit skeptical you of you guys, but you know what? I will say this. I didn't think you guys were gonna make the playoffs. I didn't think you were a playoff power of your team. I yeah. didn't think your I didn't think and, your defensive form of hockey was out, gonna win. And knocking out Colorado who I and had, Vegas. I, I, yeah, especially but I had Colorado winning the cup, so that's yeah. That's huge. So. Yeah, you know like not a lot to say here, but <clears throat> on to the next year. And of course, to the Tampa Bay Lightning. Drink it in, boys. You've earned it.